Okay, we are on to part 8 of this rebuild. Uh, this was what I was, I mentioned earlier that I had a complication with one of the bushings in this reverse input drum. There was really no, <clears throat> it was a very small lip in which to hammer out the old one and I, I ended up marring up the bushing a lot. And I determined that the best way, course of action was to take a Dremel and to just cut into the bushing. Uh, there was a little lip of the bushing going outside the housing so I just, I cut into it and then I just hammered on the lip until it bent in and then finally just hammered it out. There it is. Uh, now this, I am going to, since I'm doing this sort of a hack way of uh, installing bushings, I lubricate the housing and the bushing to help it go in. And it does really help. Here I'm using a piece of wood to get it flush. I, I do this a lot. I use the piece of wood to get it flush and then I use either a socket or the old bushing to get it if it needs to go in deeper. <coughs> So that that I'm pretty sure bolts that backside is uh, that backside has a lip, so it can only go in so far. So here I'm gonna use this to get it flush. This one actually goes in this a little bit. So now I'm I'm just using in this case the old bushing to hammer in the new bushing a little bit. Okay, so now here I'm measuring the distance down, the distance the bushing is down in the input sun gear and making a little mark on a feeler gates because I don't have my caliper. Now I'm just hammering out the old bushings, put it between two pieces of wood so it can fall down. <coughs> there it is. Now measuring the other bushing how far down that is and now um, this one had a socket that fit perfectly which makes it so much easier look at that five seconds it's out so now I'm going to lubricate the inside of the gear and the bushings themselves with Vaseline again Vaseline is just so great when working on transmission so I'm using the uh, the socket to install the bushing and um, periodically check how far down it is to make sure you don't push it too far down and that's what I'm doing right now I think I had to do that a couple times for it to get it just right this is the other side lubricating the gear inside and the bushing so it goes in easier first use a piece of wood as I said before to get it flush the easiest way and then a socket or something else of the same diameter to get it in and check how far down it is and uh, this is that last sealing ring I mentioned in the last video that I somehow forgot don't ask me how I skipped one but this just uh, peels off and uh, this is, I don't have the special tool to expand the ceiling rings. So an easy way to do it, and I saw this actually on another YouTube video, is get a, f get a funnel, lubricate it with Vaseline, and then just pull down the ceiling ring on the funnel. And that will expand the ceiling ring. And then just put it down onto the shaft, into the groove. And do this for, uh, for each one. There's four of them. Don't go too far down because uh, then the ceiling ring ceiling ring will be too big. So you gotta know uh, you gotta get it just right. But this this beats buying the special tool for I don't know probably a couple hundred dollars. You know this is like a few dollars. It's just the price of the funnel. So this is the last one that I'm doing. There we go, there's all four. Now I'm using, I'm going to
tie it, tape it up real tight with electrical tape going all around the shaft and um, this should compress the ceiling rings enough so that they won't be damaged when the pump gets installed uh, now measuring how far down the bushing is for the reaction sun gear I, I put a glove on because the splines are sharp on my hand so I was uh, hammering it so just just hammering out the old bushing there it is lubricating it with Vaseline same story using a socket to reinstall and uh, checking how far down it goes and make, making sure it's the same distance there we go uh, this is the stator the stator bushings I only got one of them on video but this one had a socket that fit it perfectly and I put an extension on it so it reads all the way down This is the case bushing. Right now, I'm measuring how far down it is using a feeler gauge. And now, just hammering it out. I hung the case on my jack, my big jack. It seemed to work really well. Okay, I'm lubricating now, installing the new bushing, getting it flush with a piece of wood. then using a socket to hammer it in the rest of the way down. And then checking how if it's far down enough. Uh, next I'm going to remove the seal Retainer, it's just a little spring, and then I'm gonna remove the bushing in the pump. I don't know why I still have the one glove on. There we go. Yeah, my shoes on time. Clean the surface where the bushing goes. Uh, this is just a little clip of me cleaning the, the spring I took off earlier so I can paint it because it was pretty messed up, pretty dirty. Uh, now I'm going to re remove the and replace the ceiling rings on the stator shaft of the pump the same way as I did last time using the uh, funnel and electrical tape. And hopefully this works. You'll find out in the upcoming videos if it did work. And there we go. I cleaned them so the tape would stick better. And there's one, and then here's the other one. Make it real tight. Okay guys, proceed to part 9. Thanks for watching.